Now, from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather tonight. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, heading into our Sunday evening after a frosty, cold Sunday afternoon. Well, it's going to be a bitterly cold Sunday evening. We've got this Arctic air mass in place, and it's going to be lingering for the next several days. Now, the good news is, as we went through the afternoon, we really didn't have much of any precipitation around the area. But as we head into this evening, especially as we head into tonight, uh, the opportunity of precipitation, kind of around an opportunity number two, so to speak, is going to present itself. And I think there's a bit better of an opportunity this evening and tonight. I want to talk about that. And especially for our friends southeast of Dallas-Fort Worth, listen up carefully. You may have the best opportunity of seeing some wintry precipitation. But this would be our Sunday evening. And again, you can see temperatures, I mean, just essentially flatlining. Even as we went through the afternoon, temperatures kind of hovered right around 15. That's going to be your evening as well. Wind chill factors, again, right around zero. And because we've got those wind chill factors right around zero, a wind chill advisory does continue. This may be expanded as we get into tomorrow. But at least right now from the Metroplex off to the north, uh, again, wind chills are going to be very close to zero. In fact, all day long, the data's kind of overestimated the wind chill slightly or kind of a little too warm with it, right? It's still got us about 7, 5, 4 as we go through the evening. But I can tell you here in the Metroplex, our wind chill has basically been at zero. And even as we go through the evening, even as we go through the overnight, zero uh, to maybe even negative 3, negative 4. That is going to be your wind chill. Keep in mind, you can even begin to get frostbite after about 30 minutes uh, when you're dealing with something like that. So, again, that is absolutely, again, dangerously cold. We've had a few spotty power outages. In fact, currently we've got about 8,500 people without power. Uh, but, again, no widespread, no big issues uh, with the power so far. And truly, none anticipated as we go through this event, fingers crossed. So, the biggest concern now, again, heading into the evening... Like I mentioned, the overall uh, power outage potential I do think remains low. I don't see a lot of icing, uh, but it's going to be slick roads. You don't see much of any of that out there right now, obviously. But as we go through the evening, as we go through the night, especially southeast of Dallas-Fort Worth, again, there may be a better opportunity of, again, some sleet, maybe a little bit of freezing drizzle, freezing rain. And again, tomorrow morning, there's a real opportunity. It could be a completely different situation than what we're seeing out there. I don't see a big glaze. I don't see anything crazy. Uh, but again, elevated surfaces, maybe even some of the stri side streets, it may not be impossible. We get that to develop again as we go through the overnight. I'm going to show you that coming up. Otherwise, there's been active precipitation, again, well off to our north. Up in Oklahoma, they had a pretty decent snowstorm. That snowstorm continues to push off to the east through parts of Arkansas, moving over through the Tennessee-Ohio River Valley. Uh, that's wave number one, but we've got one more little wave, and this is what I think is going to be a little more interesting for us, one more little ripple that's going to come in for tonight. And again, as it moves in over this, again, super cooled, I mean, we're talking about bitterly cold Arctic air mass. Look at this. The cold front is now pushing all the way out into the Gulf of Mexico. So again, as that moves out and into our area, there's the ripple. You can see it right there. That's what may agitate that opportunity of precipitation, again, as we get into tonight. So again, the cold air, again, it's going to continue tracking south and tracking east as we go forward in time. This is what I want to get to. So this is the model. I'm going to walk you through the evening. I'm going to walk you through tonight. And again, locally in the Metroplex, you can see kind of a smattering beginning to build in. And as we go through the overnight, it's beginning to advertise maybe even a little bit of freezing drizzle locally here in the Metroplex as well. But look off to the southeast. I think that's going to be our better opportunity to see some type of frozen precipitation. And there may even be some accumulating ice amounts down there. Uh, but again, you can still see by noon tomorrow, the timeline has not changed. Noon tomorrow, we're basically done with everything. The Traveler's Advisory, Winter Weather Advisory does continue around the area. Again, in anticipation for this evening and tonight that again, we do get some wintry precipitation. And again, right now, very light to maybe a quarter of an inch of ice, not impossible. Again, Freestone, Anderson, even Henderson County, our friends down to the southeast, again, stay alert to that overnight. So otherwise, here are overnight lows. More single digits, more teens. I mean, again, just bitterly cold. Again, the better opportunity of wintry precipitation overnight, again, down to our southeast, as I mentioned. And then as we go through tomorrow, it's another day. Temperatures basically flatlined. Should be able to make it into the 20s in most locations. And again, by noon, we taper off the precipitation. We'll be done with it. And then Monday night, still bitterly cold. More single digits, more teens. And again, as we get into Tuesday, we still remain below freezing. More coming up.